Besides wave selection and performing first manoeuvres of rides, individual skills that could also have been trained in poor surf include faster pop-ups for those who have a slow pop-up, speed creation training to gain initial speed, or break the line training to emphasise performing a bottom turn after a surfer has surfed horizontally. Working on height when performing re-entries, getting the front foot above the lip on impact, as performing low re-entries result in catching or nose diving as a surfer descends back down the wave face. Decisively performing cutbacks in fat sections instead of the speed destroying snaps that are so often performed by surfers. Snaps should be performed in steeper pocket sections, but when a wave goes flat, surfers should perform a longer arc turn such as a carve or a cutback. Surfing rail to rail instead of the bouncing scene all too often when surfers try to maintain their speed. Remember bouncing or hopping should be a surfer's last choice rather than their first when wanting to maintain speed. When the waves are poor, many servers over attack their finishes. They lack speed or are rushed by a crumbling lip, but they still try to hit the lip high. In these situations, servers should lip line the finish and push forward to a chest over front knee end position for consistent success.